Hey guys, Lou and I here, and thanks for tuning in to my reaction channel. Now this has been a long time coming. I actually took a Drag Race reaction video hiatus. I missed out on season 12 completely, did All Stars 5, but now I'm back for season 13 and I cannot wait to get into this season. Now I've seen the Meet the Queens video, so I've had my own sort of like ideas of what the Queens are gonna be like, but obviously that's just 10 minutes clips interview clips of them it's not the actual season so i'm going in with a fresh head here uh, or clean eyes or clear eyes or one of those things I'm, I'm just going in with a fresh thought uh open mind and um i'm just super excited to get into this i'm gonna start right now this is season 13 of rupaul's drag race season 13 Whew. let's go <laughs> oh yeah, I loved Candy's uh, Meet the Queens interview. Oh my god, I love it. The confidence that oozes out of her, it just... Oh, hello! My name is Joey J, and I am the dumbest bitch you'll ever meet. She's well oh my god, it's Joey J! I didn't even... Rush. I, I love... <laughs> To be here, it is a dream. Oh my god, Joey is just dreamy. Like, in drag, out of drag, dream. Oh my god, I just can't. What's going on? Okay, I'm really confused. What's happening? <laughs> What the hell is going on? I genuinely, I genuinely feel like I've gone to sleep and like I've skipped a whole episode or something. We're kicking off the season with six lip syncs for your lives. Now some will chante and some will sashay away. What? <laughs> but there's only like twelve contestants. Start your so that. I love Joey. I love Joey. I can't. I'll ask one of you to chante and one of you to sashay away. Bitch, excuse me. We just walked into the competition and yeah. the lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta mute this. Copyright. All right, they're both starting on off quite slow. Oh, Joey. I mean, the song, Hey, I Just Met You. We literally just met them and then, boop. So Candy has a lot of like comedy performance value. Joey's got more like, I am going to slay. <laughs> I loved that. Loved that. Oh, the chicken feathers are going everywhere. <laughs> this is actually pretty good for like a first lip sync, but this early? Oh. But I don't want any of them to go. No. Ladies, I've made my decision. This is ridiculous. Candy Muse, Shantae, you stay. Thank you so much. What? I'll just call money and I'll trust you. Bitch, I'm inside. I'm like, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are and will always be drag race royalty. No, no, no. no. No! So what? I'm really sad. What the fuck is this? There has to be a twist. I don't want to go home. No, not my Joey. I'm still upset. Oh. Let me break the ice. This is Da Dan Dana Denali. Chicago's a little bit dicey. Oh. Oh, Denali's quite handsome out of drag. I love the fact that she came in with the mask. 
Very 2020, darling. What is really the tea? In a way, this is kind of a genius twist. How is Denali even doing this in Ice Skate? Okay. Denali is slaying it. What? A cartwheel in Ice Skate? Are you serious? Careful, you're gonna whip her in the face. Wow. Mad respect for Denali doing this. Like, it's like, I'm not dressed for this, but I'm gonna slay it anyway. I've made my decision. It has to be Denali, no? What? What is actually happening? I am, no, 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 no. There has to be a twist. I am not having this. I've never been so on edge in a first episode before. What what the fuck is up? Of course. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I feel like something's gonna jump out of the box. So here we're Sometimes it's not Jangela. What the fuck is just Hallelujah! Are we being <sighs> my heart is literally like bruh, 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 bruh. It's a very interesting outfit. I kind of love it. <laughs> I remember Tamisha's uh, interview with the Meet the Queens. I, I was interested. It's so funny to see like their reactions to it. But I'm also like... Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's break out those moves. You can kind of tell that um, Simone's a lot more fresh and a lot more millennial, let's say, in terms of her drag. Start oh, maybe not, actually. <laughs> They're both quite classic. <laughs> It's also interesting that we're getting to see what they look like lip syncing because sometimes we don't even get to see someone lip sync until like the final four. So this is interesting. Simone's got a quirky side to her. I really like that. <laughs> it's my Janet Jackson moment. Reminds me of Friends, you know, the my sandwich, my sandwich. <laughs> I'm so weird. Oh girl, wait till you get backstage and see that you're like, not gone. <laughs> okay. Before the next queens come in, I just want to say that uh, I'm loving it so far. Like we're halfway through, and I'm I'm loving it. Uh, it's a it's a good twist. Uh, it had me shocked, but now I know that those queens aren't being sent home because that would have been ludicrous. It, it it it's made it a lot more exciting. It definitely feels fresher, uh, and I feel like I needed to give like season twelve a break. I I feel like this is a completely different TV show now. Uh, just had to say that. And also, my hair's a mess. I'm having a really bad hair day. My New Year's resolution is to get it cut. But I just don't know when. <laughs> Let's get back into it. I'm got Mick and I'm ready to go. Ah, it's got Mick. I am a transgender man. So, born a girl, transitioned to a guy, dressed like a girl for money. Very that. <laughs> 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 oh no. No one saw that. That's not a great start, is it? She's thickening. I am Utica Queen. Oh my god, I can't. Love it. This is gonna be interesting. This this one's gonna be really interesting. I'm not a lip sync assassin, but I can lip sync the house down for sure. Okay. 
I would have gone straight in and said, yeah, bitch, I'm a lip sync assassin. So the strawberry, uh, I used to be allergic to strawberries growing up. It's kind of a testament to me getting through it. It's so crazy. It's so dumb. I love Utica. Okay, got Mick. The the lip syncing is like blah, 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 on point. Ooh, bit of ass. Mhm. Mm I love them. I love them together. They're just so cool. I would not be able to do this part of the song. That's for sure. <laughs> I can't with the strawberry that's like vroom, vroom. <laughs> What is Utica doing? <laughs> like what? Oh, I loved it. These two are brilliant. Okay. So Utica's going in with the other eliminated queens. <laughs> ah, of, of course, Rosé, Pink. Pink Rosé. <laughs> I found Olivia's Meet the Queens interview, like, so cute. Like, it was super cute. And the Supremes. Oh, and out of drag <laughs> as well. Super cute. Just like, doo, with the cheeks. Her smile is stunning. And I can't wait to knock her teeth out one by one. <laughs> so I was like doing my hair. It's just like, okay, they're just chit chatting. And then like, shade. Comedy shade. Two queens stand before me. <laughs> Rose's like, what the f Okay, you can already tell that Rosé is, like, professional. Like... Wow. 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 Okay, Olivia. Uh, this is a pretty decent lip -sync. I'm not gonna... I didn't realise that Rosé was so, like, polished. Like... That is a lip sync assassin if I've ever seen one. I tell you now. I tell you now. Okay, Olivia. <laughs> yeah, you are an incredible lip syncer. Oh! Did Rosie just hit their head? Wow. Wow. I know it's not like a real elimination, but Rosé is like, it must be like a dagger. Loving, loving this look. Kamora Hall is just so, she's like elegant. Like it's like elegant, you know? <laughs> oh, of course, there's like three left. I used to practice my autograph as well. I'm just not famous. <laughs> <laughs> I just love I'm Elliot with two T's. Three queens stand before me. <laughs> Kamora's face is like what? What? Say I'd be amazing lip sync in this. But there's three of them on stage. It's really hard to like keep your eye on one person. No one's really like 
standing out for me here. Yeah. Okay, mate. Okay. T Tina's got this sort of... Okay. She's controlling the stage a little bit now, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you can tell Elliot with two T's used to dance. Like the fluidity in their body. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so towards the end, like, it started building up a bit. I loved that. That was cute. Gina Burner. Shantae Thank you so much. Wow. Wow, the other two are like... Yeah. They're all, like, just partying and chilling around, like, yeah, like, we won our lip thing. Oh, did Tina and Rose not have a good? Oh, oh, okay, hold up. Oh, here we go. Here's the twist. You must give one of your fellow queens the chop. This is crazy. But I'm the only black girl, so. No! Is that it? No! What the? No, I don't want to watch next time. I don't want to watch next time. Okay. Okay, guys, so that was my reaction to RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13, Episode 1. What an episode. What a way to start the season. Like, it felt refreshed it felt like a new tv show like a, a new version of drag race which is amazing because it was getting quite stale that it was just constantly the same and now it's it's had like a completely overhaul and i love that i'm definitely drawn in i'm definitely excited to see this season it was interesting to have the lip syncs in the first episode to see what each queen's made of like i said like halfway through this video you don't get to see some of them lip sync until the end if they're that good or if they survive for that long and to see them now you can already tell who's who's a good lip singer who's not good lip singer if someone went up against rose for example they would be eliminated because rose is fantastic it was just really interesting to see, and I loved the dynamics. I just, just it was just very odd. Like, I, I just find it very odd. But cool. Like, it was cool. It was odd, but like, cool. Like, but odd. I have to say, I, I love Utica uh, because of her comparison to Evie Oddly, which I made myself, um, just from the quirkiness. And the, the weirdness, I just, I love that in a queen because it's different. It's something that's not, uh, something you see every day. Uh, I will say that Tina Burner <laughs> is a bitch, <laughs> but that's entertainment. Like, she's going to bring that shade. She's going to bring that, I'm going to say it how it is. I also love the fact that there's a trans person in the competition uh that's brilliant it again adds to the the difference of this season and what i, I feel is going to be a very different season i'm just a bit gagged that like one of them's gonna have to send one of them there has to be some sort of other twist because this can't it can't be ugh. as long as my joey j is like safe i'll be happy do you know what i mean like yeah this seems like it's gonna be a really good season and like it's got a really good cast and I'm like a hundred percent back in it now, you know? This complete overhaul, I'm 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 just back with it. I'm happy to be back and I, I hope you guys are happy to have me back reacting. Um but guys, like I said, really enjoyed this episode. Great start to the season. I uh, can't wait till next week's episode. And yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Like, 
What did you think of the episode? Who's your favourite queen so far? Do you have one? Uh, what do you think of the twists and the turns? Like ev everything. Just comment below. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll respond to everyone when I can. Um, I love talking to you guys. I love hearing your opinions. And yeah, comment below. And also like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reaction videos for season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, yeah, guys, this is this is exciting. Let's get into this. 2021, like new year, new drag race, new me, hopefully a new haircut. Like, <laughs> let's do this. So guys, I will see you next week for episode two. Uh, but until then, have a great week. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you soon. Ciao.